Hi, I'm Kim Barber with the Kim Barber Group and really excited to show you this home at 2325 Duke of Edinburgh Court. Getting ready to take this home from complete disrepair into a completely renovated home and ready for a future buyer. I'm Kim Barber with Kim Barber Group and EXP Realty and I've helped thousands of owners and agents with real estate since 2004. I'm super excited. We're going to change the whole design of this kitchen from where the cabinetries were here. We're going to upgrade the quality to real wood cabinets, granite countertops, things like that. We're going to open up this floor plan so all of these walls will come out, make it much more usable and friendly for the new buyers. It seems like today's world they want light and bright, so we did the glazing and then these fun, um, the slow clothes that everybody likes. And there was no pantry here. Um, I really wanted something functional, so put in the pantry system in here and just really had fun with it so that you know you could be here, you can entertain, things would look sleek and current. The other thing that we decided to do, you'll notice that all the lights have a lot of lighting in here, but the, the house really didn't have a pop when you came into it, so we stripped all the floors down as another last minute decision and changed it from butterscotch to this black color. Okay, so in the dining room here, you can see it's got a really cool floor plan here, but then the kitchen is totally blocked. So we're gonna take out this wall, replace the header beams across here, make this like a granite island, and then change these 1972 railings to black and make it really, really cool. Downstairs, super comfortable. One of the things that I was um, really thinking about like as, as you live here was you know chilling out in this room and watching TV, having all the lights out and not being able to walk upstairs comfortably. So there was no light switches. So now we can walk up and down the stairs and not break my neck. So then downstairs. So the downstairs of this home was really 1970s. We had uh, railroad ties and fake fireplaces. So in the utility room here, we've already replaced the hot water heater and the furnace and really needed to clean up the crawl space, figure out what we're gonna do with the washer and dryer. It's good space, we just need to make it a little bit more functional. So, and then in here, this really needs to be a good area for people to use. So we're gonna replace the windows. This had old railroad ties. This drywall is outdated, put in recessed lights. When we knocked this wall down, we realized that there was this pipe here. So we'll make this into a, a great closet for somebody to use and fix everything up and make it a really comfortable spot. So basically in this area, we're gonna go ahead and change this light out. This light used to be over here, was not enough light. Fix the drywall, which is related to the roof not being proper for a few years. Had to rip out all the drywall, almost in a good part of the whole house. Move this over and drop a really gorgeous chandelier here. We moved it all over to make it aesthetically appropriate. We replaced a lot of stuff up here in the attic, so we'll fix all that and make it much better. And now it's crisp and clean and brought the six inch baseboards up here as well. So this is the master bath, which we have to open up everything about it, redesign a few things to match the code, but it'll be really gorgeous when we're done. We have to do custom glass doors because these are unique sizes, move some stuff around. We're gonna change some textures and make it really, really cool. Okay, so the bathroom's in here. We're gonna change out all the doors and the trim, change out these closets, which are pretty dated. 
We've obviously uh, pulled up some of the trim here and just make it all brand new, six inches, very cool. All right. Okay, so in here, we're gonna change all the carpet out. Again, give some new looks to the doors here and um, make it awesome, okay? So in the hall bath here, we've got a little bit more space to work with. So we're gonna move this wall though, because it's really too far out, which is why that cabinet was so small, you can see in the shadows. So we'll make this into a 48, put some granite tops in here. And then down here, you can see that we had this crazy blue tile, as was the master bath. So we're gonna make some cool diagonals in the ceramic and change the patterns to give it a nice vibe. Put some mosaics right here about mid-level, change the lighting around, and make it a really great hall bathroom. So in this hall bath, we were successfully able to move this wall back so that we could add the wider cabinet here. So this is likely to be shared amongst a couple people, and I thought that was really, really important. So we made it work. Space out here was not even usable. It was a total disaster. So we cleaned it up, added the decking, uh, made it quite comfortable, and so now it's like a little outdoor sanctuary. All right. Well, outside here, we're going to go ahead and do things. Brand new doors. Change the look to it black to give it a nice offset from the brick. I really. I uh, did not like the blue color, so everything now is in black and white, which matches the inside. And um, yeah, I love it. Crack, crack, crack.